Hey guys, we got a little bit of uh, square baling done. I wanted to bring you guys along with us to show you the difference between regular grass hay and alfalfa hay. Come along with us and let's get it done. So like I said guys, we've got uh, a little bit of square baling done. Um, we weren't really planning on it. Our big round baler kind of uh, threw us a little bit of fit and uh, wouldn't make our bales the way we liked them so uh, we ended up getting the square baler out going through with that and uh, making these square bales so this is our square baler that we use this is a new holland hay liner 271 uh, it's we've had it for quite a while it's been a, a pretty good baler we've actually had to do quite a bit of different uh, work to it but uh, not too bad of a baler uh, the way that these work is uh, you'll have your wind row right here and as the machine turns it'll pick up the hay and put it right inside this chute and it's got these little tines here that pushes the hay as it's turning these little plungers come in here and they they push the hay all the way to the big plunger which ends up pressing all the hay together and brings it back here to the back and presses everything together and it will tie a wire onto it uh, and that's what makes your hay bale i'll have more videos on how this machine works a little later but yeah uh, you've got your knotter right here so whenever it does tie your bale it will push some wire up through the hay and these knotters spin and they spin make the knot and cut it and then eventually it, with all the hay comes in it just pushes the hay off out of the back chute and drops it on the ground before there was equipment like this with the tractor and a square baler or even a round baler, any sort of baler, they used to just cut the hay by hand and throw it in a big pile. And it kind of acted like a, a round bale to where, you know, the outside layer would protect the inside stuff. And that's how they would get their hay production and grab their hay off of that and feed it to their animals. It wasn't until the 1930s, whenever they started making balers to go along with the, on the backside of the tractor to make these bales and uh, makes life a lot easier now. So with that being said, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of difference between the grass hay and the alfalfa, and then also some of the, uh, the facts about the alfalfa versus the hay and why we use it. So on this side, we have our grass hay, and uh, if you come up close to it, uh, it's a really thin type of grass material. Uh, horses and, and cows really like this stuff, and that's basically what they eat all the time. So just a visual difference on the thin stuff versus the alfalfa. If you come over to it, it's more stemmier, uh, thicker type of grass. <clears throat> and as you can see there, a whole bunch of stems and like I said, a lot thicker than the grass hay. And that's just kind of a, a visual difference. But a, an animal like a horse or a cow, they can eat up to 15 to 30 pounds depending on the size of the animal of hay a day. So we like to have a different variety for our cows. Um, so that's why we ended up getting an alfalfa field. We actually have two alfalfa fields now. Uh, eh, one at the moment, two by the end of the year, the wheat that's back behind our property, we're gonna do an alfalfa uh, by the end of this year. So in the fall, we'll be planting that. So make sure you guys subscribe. That way you guys can come with us and see how we do that. Anyways, the difference between the alfalfa and the grass. So the alfalfa has got more protein, uh, more calcium, more fiber. Um, as an animal eats this, they're gonna get a lot more energy uh, with this. But the downside with that is they eat too much of that. They could get really, number one, really fat really quick, which uh, a lot of horse people don't want that. Uh, cow people do, but you don't want to do that too quickly. Both of these have protein, calcium, fiber, and all this and that, but the alfalfa has got a lot more. So the alfalfa has got 16 to 20% of protein versus the hay, which really only has about uh, six to 8%. There are a lot of different types of grass that uh, you could bale up. Uh, there's, you know, the alfalfa, there's regular pasture grass, there's orchard grass, rye grass, timothy grass, and all those have different uh, nutrition facts to them but uh, what we have here on the farm is alfalfa and, and just regular pasture grass which regular pasture grass what i mean is 
it's basically just natural stuff. Uh, there's nothing planted. Uh, the only thing that we might do to it is go through and kill the weeds off of it and give it a fertilizer. Um, other than that, nothing else. It's just a natural grass that's grown and we cut it and bale it and feed it to our animals. taste for them. It's almost like a treat. So my dad likes to say sometimes whenever you eat steak all your life, uh, sometimes you just want candy. You want a sweet. You want uh, cake. And that's kind of what this is whenever that's all that they eat is just straight grass. So we're going to give them a little bit of a treat today. There's Medina. We haven't talked about her for a while, but uh, her and her calf, Otis, are doing really well. And, uh, yeah, Otis is around here somewhere. Oh, here's Otis right there. This one right here is Princess. She's going to be one of the uh, heifers that we're going to get bred here this, uh, here in probably the next month or so. I think Otis would rather have some milk. So if all that you use is just regular pasture grass like we do, uh, you, you don't want to give them too much alfalfa. It could make them sick, it could make them bloated. A lot of times in the springtime we'll throw out a bloat block is what it's called and uh, that helps them get the right uh, nutrition and the right uh, stuff inside their belly to where they won't get bloated. And, uh, but yeah, this is just a little treat for them. All right, so they uh, definitely like the alfalfa. Like I said, it's totally different from just regular uh, pasture grass that they've been used to. Uh, that's kind of what they're on right here, is just regular pasture grass and Medina and Otis. And then uh, we throw out a bale for them. They really haven't touched it, that's why it looks like that because they've got all this green grass and then uh, I throw in a little bit of alfalfa every now and then. Anyways guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys learned something in this video. Yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, until next time, we'll see you then, thanks.